Welcome to 574 Sports. I'm Laura Hoover. This week, Tanner Camps sits down with the Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week, and we land ourselves in the bullpen with Anthony Boltadaro with a special introduction to your 2018 Goshen baseball team. Keep it locked here on 574 Sports, here on 91 Won the Globe. Travis Grimm, pitcher, Muskegon, Michigan. Ryan Hartig, left fielder, Woodstock, Ontario. Cody McCoy, shortstop, Menifee, California. This is Brad Stoltz, who's first baseman for the Maple Leafs from Goshen. Yeah, so coming to Goshen, um, I didn't really know what to expect for the most part. It was kind of a new culture, new everything for me. But from day one, uh, not only the baffle team, but the community and the school really welcomed me. And it was something that was pretty cool to me, even on my visit when I came here. It's like everybody was really intrigued to kind of get to know me deeper than basketball. So that was cool to see. And then, I mean, from day one since I've been here, everybody's kind of helped me out and then helped um, all us out kind of on and off the court. Definitely off the court, it's been kind of cool just to be around the community and people kind of recognize us. So that's been kind of cool. And then just for the freshmen now, kind of just being there for them and understanding that's a hard transition from high school, especially on the court. A lot of guys are like the star players on their team and then they come in and might not play right away. But off the court, I know it's been the freshman group we have is a really good group. So it's kind of been fun to hang out with them and kind of get to know them more. A group of guys that have been with each other a couple years now and we know each other pretty well on and off the court. We hang out with each other a lot. Oh, we try to hang out with each other a lot and just try to do as much as possible with each other. Because we know that like team chemistry is not only built on the court, but also off the court. So we're trying to like build up on that and just trying to hang out with each other as uh, much as possible. And just trying to watch basketball games with each other, go out to eat with each other, or just hang out with each other, play video games, or just like be there for each other and relax with each other. That's basically our whole concept of our basketball culture off the court. We try to learn to love each other. Um, you know, we had many meetings before, like uh, off the basketball court, like we have compliment sandwiches and like talk about how. Um, we have two things we like about each other and one thing that we need to work on. And, you know, we really take that to heart and really try to, you know, hear what people have to say. And, you know, we try to make those changes that we have to work on. So it's really good. Um, yeah, so I think that's something that really has caught my eye since I've got here. Coming in, Coach Young at the time really sold me on the brotherhood of the team. And not that I didn't believe him, but I didn't really know what that meant until I got here. But since I've been here, it's kind of something we've, sold our hat on of just kind of being close knit team, kind of being there for each other both on and off the court. And it's kind of been fun to see, so. Um, I mean, to me, it's pretty important, honestly, because, you know, on the court stuff, you know, we always go, go at each other, compete really well. And, you know, we might trash talk every now and then, but, you know, that's, that's okay because in the end, we still, like, love each other, like, off the court. We always try to hang out and always try to do stuff together. And I think that relates off the court stuff to on the court stuff with the relationships. So it's pretty vital to have on a team. It, during the preseason this, this past summer, we talked a lot about team chemistry and what that can do for us as a team. So that's why, like I said earlier, we just hang out with each other as much as possible. And like you can see it on the court too. We joke with each other on the court, um, goof around with each other. I know for us, like no matter what happens, I mean, we're, we're, all, we're all boys and we're all 18 to 22, so we fight all the time. But no matter what happens, we all kind of come back. We find a way to kind of welcome each other back to the team. I know guys kind of bicker a lot, but at the end of the day, they all love each other. And you can kind of see it on and off the court, just hanging around us. No matter what happens off the court, guys always find a way to come back and trust each other and just love each other and find a way to kind of be, become best friends and brothers like we normally do. So it's, it's been fun. It's kind of it's kind of cool to see groups of kids grow off the court. It's easy to tell on the court because like you get better, but off the court it's kind of hard to see. But for us, every kid kind of comes in shy, not really knowing what to expect. But once they leave, you can't really get anybody on the team to shut up. So it's kind of cool to see everybody grow together as a team and as players. So it's been, it's been a fun ride. Um, that's a big one. To me, I think it has to be um, just, I just straight up just say, say love, honestly because I just feel like um, for certain players, we have to show that and express that because um, they may not get that off the court with you know other people or like with their families as much. So I feel like if we show that on a certain like organization and like in this team, I think like that can come a long way for them and they can have that love type feeling when they're done here at Goshen.
My name is Clinton Strobel. I am a catcher and I am from Newport News, Virginia. My name is Chandler Engel and I am a pitcher from Bern, Indiana. Braden Evans. I'm a starting pitcher for Goshen College and I'm from Ranch Cucamonga, California. Ben Longacre, outfielder, Boyertown, Pennsylvania. Welcome to 574 Sports. My name is Tanner Camp and to my left here we have senior guard Carly O'Neill. She is this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week. That week, Carly Average had 17 points, 5 steals versus Spring Arbor, and she had 28 points, which was her career high, versus Marion. On the season, she averaged 11 points, 3 rebounds, and shot 37% from 3. Big note is that in the last 4 games of the regular season, Carly averaged a little over 20 points per game. Carly, first of all, congratulations on this honor. Thanks, Tanner. Uh, so how does it feel to be this week's Maple Leaf Athlete of the Week? Uh, it's humbling. I feel really honored, and um, I kind of kind of happy with the help of my teammates. So it's a it's a nice honor. And teammates very supportive of it, and well deserving. Not even just within that last week, basically within the last two weeks. So again, end of the season. Uh, you know it was your you knew it was your final year. What was still was your mindset going into your senior year? Uh, I think one of the things that I tried to focus on my my senior year was uh, to kind of just leave it with no regrets. Just do my best, play hard, be the best that I could be as a leader and just as a basketball player. And um, at the very beginning of the season, uh, my mentality kind of shifted because my twin sister got injured the very first game of the season. So it was a little difficult to kind of adjust to that. But uh, overall, I think I can look back and just kind of uh, have no regrets because I, I tried to do the best I could. And I'm really happy with how um, our team performed together and just kind of finished the season strong no matter uh, how our, our record shows. So it was a good season. And as you said, people with the record, they would think that you guys did not play as hard, but which I am far from the opposite. In fact, a lot of games were very close, and it showed that you guys played very hard throughout the season. So very great answer. And again, with Thanks. your sister's injury, you know, that can be, uh, that can be a struggle, but, you know, you, you took that uh, very well. So. Thanks, Tanner. Um, go, going over the summer, you know, it can, it can be difficult, you know, final year with a good group of uh, ladies. What did you do over the summer to get ready for uh, the senior year? I think just having a year under my belt uh, with Coach Miller, kind of knowing her expectations and how she uh, kind of expects us to be accountable for staying in shape and all of that. So I kind of took it upon myself to work out almost every single day this summer and get some shots up. And Caitlin and I, we would push each other and um, running mostly because that was kind of my biggest thing was just being in shape. So <laughs> just making sure I wasn't going to die this year um, was a big thing. So, And with Coach Miller, you know, having previous experience with this, taking a team to the national uh, semifinals a few years ago. So it's great that you're doing that for her and just, and like you said, to get ready for this mm -hmm. last season. So, again, end of the season, but um, even in terms of games, again, the record, you know, not as glamorous as, maybe you were expecting, but still, how would you say that the team did in the sense of just games in general, but even more than that, just the overall chemistry between each other? I think this year was definitely a growing year for our program, but more importantly, um, I, I couldn't ask for a better group of girls to kind of grow together and go through those battles with. We um, definitely faced a lot of adversity, and every single day coming to practice, we all showed up ready to play. No one had bad attitudes for the most part. I mean, yeah, you have bad days here and there, but everyone was playing for each other, and it was just a great feeling to, to go to battle with these girls who always put each other first and um, was just a great example of what a great teammate was. So um, just regardless of, of um, the competition that we play, um, we'd, we'd be disappointed at times because we wouldn't win, but um, I couldn't be more proud of, of our team and just our chemistry and how um, no matter what happens we'd always just try our best and work hard so and by the end of it you know everybody wants to win and nobody wants to lose but by the end of it all just uh, the connection that you guys had on the court and off the court really shows throughout the entire campus and even the community of Goshen Thanks. so uh, you know this is a uh, very difficult because you know end of the season but what would, what would you say your favorite moment of the entire season was in your, your final year here at Goshen College I think one of my favorite moments was probably the last game of the season just because um, we played the defending national champions uh, Marion University and 
um, they kind of went into the game probably underestimating us, and we lost by four points to them. So that kind of was a, an attestment to like how we just would per persevere through adversity and just we didn't care that they were the top dogs. We just came ready to play and um, just wanted to have fun our last game. So that was probably one of my favorite moments. And again, it showed, I mean, the fact that you really surprised a lot of people, and this shows that this uh, in next incoming class and next year's team could really cause a lot of, could cause a lot of uh, trouble mm -hmm. for the crossroads. So, again, this is normally for basketball, but just in general, you know, you're in your final semester here at Goshen College before going off. What are you most looking forward to finishing off here at Goshen College and then just looking ahead once you graduate? Um, well, uh <laughs> As any senior can probably relay, I don't really know exactly what's going to happen with my future right now, but um, I'm just optimistic um, for the girls, um, for the program here. Um, my sister's coming back next year to play, so I look forward to coming and supporting um, the team and um, just seeing how much they grow from this past year and uh, just see who steps up and the incoming freshmen too. So, um, so just not only the basketball aspect, but I look forward to just coming back and seeing everyone. So. And it's great that you plan on coming back. A lot of people will definitely remember you years to come <laughs> in the future. Thanks. Carly, with that, do you have any final thoughts, comments, inspirational quotes that you want to give? Um, not really. Just I'm just very, very blessed that I've had the opportunity to play here. And um, like I said, I look forward to seeing how much the, the team grows from here. And um, you definitely won't see the last of me because I'll be right behind my sister all next year watching her play. So. And again, again, we look forward to seeing you in the future, cheering your sister and the entire mm -hmm. team on. Carly, thank you so much for your time. We really thank appreciate you. it. Tanner Camp here with Carly O'Neill here on 574 Sports. Uh, I'm Colby Molson. I'm from Tipton, Indiana. I previously went to Tri-Central High School. Quinlan Armstrong, center fielder from Kokomo, Indiana. My name is Cody McGuire. I play third base, and I'm from Portage, Indiana. I'm Kyle Kotecki. I'm a pitcher from Wonder Lake, Illinois. I'm Kyle Stilgrave, I'm a pitcher, and I'm from Clinton, Michigan. Well, my name is Spencer Buttermore, I'm a student station manager at 91.1 The Globe. Uh, shared the position with Brad Stolzfus, which is pretty cool. Um, I mean, taking a look over the past few years, there, there's never been uh, any kind of coordination of two student station managers, so that was kind of cool how Jason uh, wanted to try and bring that aspect of it in. And I mean, it's worked out really well. I mean, Brad's in baseball, so uh, I know coming up here in the spring and, and during those kind of times, uh, Brad's going to be really busy with baseball, so uh, some of the bulk of the load's going to be put onto me. But uh, during during the fall semester, I mean, he had practice every day during fall ball, but uh, we were able to kind of coordinate on the uh, the workload, and it's, it's worked out really well. I kind of focus a little bit more on the sporting things and maybe the day-to-day -day stuff. Uh, whether that be building the logs or uh, scheduling people, you know, whatnot. And then Brad usually, he, he focuses a lot on the music side. I mean, he, he's done a lot of band and artist interviews this year so far, as well as uh, finding a lot of new music, talks to promoters. Uh, so that's kind of how we've divvied, it, divvied things up here uh, for the Globe. And it, it's worked out really well. I mean, uh, I, I, I believe I could do it by myself, but... Uh, having Brad right there along with me uh, just makes it that much easier. Um, so kind of going along with the sports cast and stuff, I've been doing that since uh, I was a freshman. I uh, got started in doing some volleyball. I also did uh, some basketball my freshman year. Didn't do any baseball because I was involved in baseball, but uh, over the past few years I've really done uh, quite, a few, quite a few volleyball games and uh, really the bulk of it's come from uh, basketball, men and women's basketball, doing both of those, following those teams very closely. Uh, I, I mean, uh, riding the bus with them back and forth to games and uh, even getting stuck on a road trip with the women's basketball team, staying in a hotel overnight, uh, coming back from Indiana Wesleyan. That was an interesting story, broken bus. Uh, but that, that was a whole ordeal there. But, uh, you know, it, it's a lot of fun. We, you, you, get a, you get to mingle with the players. The coaches recognize you by your face, and, and they, they want you to be on the bus. And, and you hop on the bus with them, and, and they're just delighted to see. I've been uh, thanked by many coaches for taking the, taking the trip, whether it's just up to Bethel or going all the way to Mount Vernon. Uh, that means a lot to the coaches that we are wanting to follow their team so closely, and that's just what I've been striving to do. 
Uh, going back to my freshman year, it was uh, it was a little tough to get into sports casting because I was on the baseball team. So, especially during the January February type of the type of the year when uh, basketball starting to wrap up their season, you know, you're really wanting to call those games. But uh, then you got to look at the aspect if you got baseball practice. I mean, we I my my day would look like this. I'd go to class all day long. You know, you you go eat dinner at five, and I'd be calling a basketball game at six or seven. And then you come out and you right after right after the basketball game you're having practice till 11 12 11 11 30 maybe even 12 o'clock and then you're getting up at six o'clock the next morning to go back and do it so uh that that kind of took a toll on me a little bit i mean uh i didn't i did enjoy baseball and i i played it all my life but i kind of kind of took a little bit of thought into it and then am i going to be able to pursue this like I would a radio career, and I kind of thought about that and decided to hang up the cleats and uh, uh, take out the headphones for a full-time position at the Globe. So uh, that's kind of what I was focusing on, and that also gave me the opportunity to have a chance to call some baseball games on the uh, on Go Leafs and also some tape delay stuff, uh, both baseball and softball. And uh, I feel like that that's going to be helpful to me when we when I uh, trying to go out and find a career, whether that be. Uh, doing play-by-play -play for baseball or something along the lines of uh, a media position uh, for a sporting, uh, uh, sporting facility. Welcome to the bullpen. I'm Anthony Boltero. This month, Tanner Kemp sits down with Kyle Stelgrave, one of our pitchers, as he was chosen as a 574 Athlete of the Month. All up here next on the bullpen. I'm Bailey Young, I'm a pitcher, and I'm from Logansport, Indiana. Hey, I'm Nolan Holcomb. I play outfield and I pitch, and I'm from Frisco, Texas. Brandon Virus, designated hitter, New Baltimore, Michigan. Welcome to 574 Sports. My name is Tanner Camp, and to my left here we have Kyle Steele, great freshman pitcher for the men's baseball team. He is this month's 574 Athlete of the Month. First of all, Kyle, congratulations on this honor. Thank you, Tanner. Uh, how does it feel to be this month's uh, 574 Athlete of the Month? You know, it's an honor. I'm glad to be here. The hard work's paying off right now. Definitely, and a very surprising our uh, first freshman to receive this award. So, uh, big congratulations and well deserving of that. Thank you. So, uh, what have you know? It, it can be difficult, you know. New college, new mm -hmm. setting. The game speed has definitely changed. Uh, what coaches and players have influenced you? Not even just on the team, just in general throughout uh, your lifetime, both mentally and just playing style coming into the season. So, it really started uh, my freshman year of high school. I, I ended up making the varsity baseball team, and I had a great senior role model, T.J. Baker. He's actually playing at Ball State right now, and uh, he really helped me. He's a great role, role model. Uh, just. Incredible guy, hard worker, so I kind of went from there. And then this year, I actually uh, was uh, blessed enough to have Travis Grimm, another senior, kind of take me under his wing, show me the roles, what workouts I should be doing, stuff like that. And then uh, my pitching coach this year, Coach Grubbs, said I need to add another pitch, you know, advanced level. I need to up my game a little bit more, so I added a pitch, and it's really helped me this year. And it seems like they're role, role models, not only just good players, but also good characters to help you kind of guide you in the right direction. And very glad that it's going uh, well for you at this point. So, uh, again, it, it can be coming in, you know, fresh, clean slate, you know, not much to or much pressure. Uh, what was your mindset for this year in terms of not even just uh, for game stuff, you know, like in preparation, practice, or even just studying like everything in general? What was your mindset for the new school year and for baseball season? You know, just kind of take one step at a time, play it by ear, see how it goes. But uh, we came in the fall, and flat out coach said, hey, you're not bad. I mean, we're going to see what where it takes us. We got a spot open right now we're looking at. We got a sophomore who was our top guy last year. He's going to be our top guy again, Travis Grimm. Uh, he's gonna, probably going to be our number two, but the number three spot's up for grabs. So that's I kind of went from there. I wanted that spot, and uh, I got the opportunity to get that. And as far as studying, you know, we got our baseball schedule a week in advance or something like that. So I, I know what times I got to be there, and I kind of try to set aside a decent amount of time for studying. It seems like you got everything organized, both in terms of practices and studying, just to make sure you can stay on top of your game while all, uh, both in the classroom and on the field. So mm -hmm. very good, especially for a freshman doing that so early. 
So, again, it's still kind of filling out the team. We've gotten a few games in, but still lots to come mm-hmm. throughout the rest of this season. What are your personal thoughts of the team, both coming into the program and then um, thoughts on, you know, getting into those first few games? Uh, as far as coming into the program, you know, I didn't know anybody coming in, so I was a little, you know, a little nervous. And uh, all the guys are real welcoming, so that was great to see. We're, we're getting real close right now. And, you know, I, we're, we're kind of getting the kinks out of the way right now, but I think – once we get a, a bullpen figured out for sure and gets in some better weather, I mean, we played it was freezing cold, so that help, did not help. And uh, I think we're, we got a good shot this season, I think. And, uh, you know, a lot of returners coming mm-hmm. back, of new guys who all have very good mindsets of, you know, hardworking and wanting to help with this team. And, again, uh, first few games, kind of hard to judge already, but for the most part, a uh, good indicator, and you guys will definitely learn how to uh, pick it up as mm-hmm. the season goes along. Definitely. So, um, again, really early. We've only gotten through a few games. But um, even just – it doesn't have to be on the field. It can just be at, in general at Goshen College. What's your favorite moment of, of your career, either career so far or just in general about being at Goshen College? You know, it's got to be the last weekend getting that first uh, freshman win under my belt. It felt real good. And that one can be difficult, you know, just getting to play in general. But also, getting a win is always tough, as most, you know, the first one's always the toughest. So, you know, big congratulations on that. Thank you. So, um, a lot of people think that, you know, not only on the field or even just in all sports, that bond that you have, but it's also off the field that can really make a big impact. How would you say that uh, the bond with your teammates is both on and off the field. Like, so to explain, like, does it differ? And would you say there's kind of almost a family aspect to this program? Oh, there's definitely a family aspect. I mean, on and off the field, we're both we're all pretty pretty tight guys. Um, uh, as far as, I mean, on the field, we're pretty focused, but we're still pretty close. Off the field, we like to joke around, have a little have a little fun. So, definitely, uh, good guys to be around. And if people see that around campus or even in the community, they see you guys hanging out and also really just enjoying each other's company. Again, kind of adds to that almost brotherhood mm-hmm. type of mentality with you guys. So, uh, Kyle, with that, uh, any final thoughts, inspirational quotes, anything that you have? <laughs> uh, I didn't think of any quotes, but I'm just <laughs> thank you, thank you for having me over here and. Uh... Hopefully we can see you guys around this season. Oh, and we definitely will. We encourage everyone to go out to that. Kyle, big huge congratulations Thank you. again. Thank, Thank you, you so much. I'm Tanner Camp here with Kyle here on 574 Sports. My name is Christopher Plow. I'm a first baseman from Prescott Heights, Illinois. Bobby Lee Garcia, uh, infielder and from Carolina, Puerto Rico. My name is Logan Jones. I'm a first baseman and a pitcher. I'm from Vancouver, Washington. Noah Harris, catcher from Gas City, Indiana. Lars Hubdy, Outfield, Mulberry, Indiana. That's all we have this month on the bullpen. I'm Anthony Bolt Zero, and you're watching 574 Sports. My name's Brian Schofield, a.k.a. Bright Boy, pitcher outfielder from Muskegon, Michigan. Hi, my name is Hilly Robles. I'm from Bayamón, Puerto Rico, and I'm a freshman for Gushing College. Toby Fox, pitcher, Niles, Michigan. Anthony Bolt Zero, catcher at Tuscasita High School, Humble, Texas. That's all this week on 574 Sports. You're going to want to keep it locked every Saturday for all of your Maple Leaf athletics. For everyone here at 574 Core Sports, have a great day.